Alright guys, we're back for another weekly grind video. We're going to be going ahead and talking about the global side, events and banners when they end, and the same thing on the JP side. On top of that, we're going to be talking about the new world tournament a little bit. I will not be going in-depth on this video about the world tournament, but I will be doing an in-depth video for tomorrow when the world tournament releases, so stay tuned for that. Um, Alright, let's jump into it. The first one is going to be the uh alone warriors last battle event this ends on 10 10 so you have six more days while this is available uh there's nothing really amazing here other than the awakening medals for your great apes i would recommend going to the event and grinding out whatever the number is to doken wake i think it's five of each metal uh, so one whatever their respective metal is like foster requires i think five of each of these metals in order to doken waken herself uh the bardock requires of the lord frieza medals and so on I would grind five of each of these out or whatever the amount is that is required for you to token wake in each of them. Uh, so that way you have them for the future so you don't have to go back and grind this event. Other than that, there's really nothing special about this event. I will say though, we're gonna be talking about it in a little bit. Um, I just found out about this just before I started recording this video because I was looking at the world tournament information and it looks like we're finally getting that agility support unit from the world tournament, the Bardock. So keep that in mind when this event is up. It's not the best rates. But you can get this Bardock that you see on the screen right now. This Bardock, he is a rare. You can Z-Awaken him to an SR. And it's, it's still a very low rate, but you can increase the super attack with this. It's technically farmable. Um, at that point, you know, it, again, he's just a support unit, so you really don't need to. But we're going to talk about that in a minute. Um, the next one we're going to talk about is the Strongest Rivals event. That is the Korra event. There's really nothing major in here. Uh, you can get the Awakening Medals for the Intelligence Korra. The, uh, you know, the, the round-headed one, the one that's like Frieza's final form uh, before he goes to 100%. And the medals there, if you want to grind them out, can be used to, to feed into either the Physical Korra if you didn't have Elder Kai's from, or the Technique Korra if you decided to use um, Elder Kai's on the Physical Korra but you have the tech core and you want to get him up to super attack 10. Regardless of that, you could do that. Also, this Korra does also feed into the Baba Shop Korra before you Doken Awaken him, so it's just a good thing to keep them as well. Don't go to grind him out. He's available to drop on the last stage strongest clan in the universe. He has an abysmal like 1% drop rate, so don't even bother grinding him out. Uh, but overall, this event is going to be over on 10-15. So, you know, it's there. Go ahead, grind out the metals if you want to feed that Korra into his physical final form. Uh, next one is going to be the Pure Destruction and Carnage event and Banner. Both of them end on 1015, Sunday 1015. You have another week and a half for that. I'm assuming after next week we're going to be getting another banner. Um, everyone's hoping for the Technique Angel Goku banner. You know, here's keeping my fingers crossed. I really hope we get that as well. We'll see what happens though. Um, yeah, that ends. Go for it. This is still a good banner. I still like the Kid Buu. I did get lucky and I pulled him within a couple multi summons. I've been running his team. He is a hard hitter. He has a good team. It's more for durability than it is for damage dealing. If they had one really solid damage dealer, other than like my 100% Buhan, which is still not the best, um, but if they had a really good damage dealer, then this team would be a lot more viable. Uh, it's still really good though, don't get me wrong. Uh, the next one is going to be the Intelligence Banner Summons. It ends on 1018. The LR Gohans here, that's really your only thing. Um, there are two characters here as well. You got the Vegeta and the Gohan. They're the two Intelligence Support characters. They're only going to be good for their mono teams until like the future teams come out. Now, what I will say about the category teams that are coming out in the future, a lot of them do kind of um, tailor towards individual types. You can have rainbow across the board, which is cool about them. But, you know, I've looked at a lot of the cards that came out. I haven't done a video about this. I might do one in the future. There is a lot, a lot of these cards actually um, within the respective categories. That's actually not what I want to do. A lot of the cards in the categories actually have a... Um, good uh, mixture of of rainbow attribute types but they typically focus around one attribute but again i'll be talking about that in a different video um autumn harvest uh login bonuses runs until 10 9 so we should be getting a new login event uh coming up in about four more days or five more days so stay tuned for that as well um sure it's gonna be something cool usually the first time you log in you get something really awesome uh 17th world tournament also was announced so that's you know thank god that's coming on the fifth um, anyway, last but not least, um, this is going, to, well, this is the release, release schedule uh, anyway. So the release schedule is for tomorrow. Um, this is the old school dbz.space. I don't think that the actual schedule is on the V3. At least that's what I heard in uh, someone's video yesterday. So I went, regardless of that, I jumped onto the schedule. So this is here, opens 10-5. 
Bardock, Super Saiyan Gohan, and Bardock. This is one. This is the SSR, and this is the TUR, and this is Super Saiyan Teen. So this is the Bardock. This is his SSR variant. Apparently, we're finally getting him. He Doken Awakens with uh, World Tournament medals into this Bardock. Uh, apparently, we're getting them both at the same time. I'm going to talk about him in a second. And we're also getting this Gohan. So, uh, this is the Gohan. He's probably going to be the main tournament prize. He had Super Type Key plus 2, Attack and Defense plus 25%. Now, he's a support unit. Um, he has rare chance to stun the enemy. So, why do you think you should go for him? I mean, he is Super Type. But I just want to tell you the teams he runs on. He runs on three primary teams. Um, he runs on a Heroes team. He runs on a Mono Strength Super Team. And he runs on a Hybrid Saiyan. So the Hybrid Saiyan team is going to be a future meta, right? So that's where he's going to be viable, and he's going to link well with those characters. Uh, see if you see Category Mix Saiyan, actually, right over here, you can see right there. So that's where he's going to be good for key support and for uh, attack and defense support. It's only 25%, but it's still 25%. Highly recommend you going for him for that. Um, the Mono Strength team, the hero version with Super Saiyan 4 Goku lead, He's still viable there. He is not going to be a primary unit that you're going to consider running because you do, if you have the Bardock Doken Awaken and you have, let's say, the Kaba for support, um, and I think you need one more. I forgot which one it was, though. But there's like three support units that you could run. He could be one of them if you don't have him. He's not going to be primary, but he can be. And then on the Heroes team, obviously, because you he has a super type, so it's rainbow. It's not just a specific type. Um, uh, again, there are rainbow support units that you can run that utilize attack and defense buffs as well. But, you know, he is just good because he's an overall all-around good character. And he has a decent leader ability. Nothing amazing. He, he lacks the attack buff. But it's to give super type key plus 2, HP, and defense plus 50%. So if you don't have that, you can run, uh, you could kind of run a half, um, you know, a halfway decent um, hero team with this character. The next one we're going to go ahead and just jump into real quick is the Solitary Warrior Bardock. Um, his undoken form is agility and strength type key plus 2. So if you can't get him doken awaken, he has decent key support for both agility and strength. Not amazing, but you can do that. Uh, he was available on Japanese version World Tournament 2. Apparently, he's going to be on our, our current World Tournament. His Doken Awaken form is really what we're like looking at if it wanted, to, if it really wants to load. <laughs> um, so his new passive skill is really what we're worrying about. It's the same thing. It's going to be agility and strength types, key plus two, but attack plus thirty percent. So he gets that attack buff of thirty percent. So it makes him very viable on a, an, an agility team. So that Super Saiyan 4 uh, Vegeta team, he's super viable there. He is a super type as well. So that's just where he comes in. Plus, he has a decent leader ability. Nothing major. So if you actually just don't have a leader ability for agility or strength, um, he does key plus 3, HP attack, and defense plus 30%. Not great, but he's better for the older events if you're just starting out. So I would recommend going for him again. We don't know how he's going to be available because I'm pretty sure that Gohan's going to be the World Tournament reward. So unless he is a secondary reward, maybe he is a mission reward. If he's a mission reward, that would be pretty damn cool. I, I think that would be awesome. Actually, uh, does the do we have the mission rewards that are uh, available right now? Um, I don't really Yeah, we go to mission. We'll see. Actually, that's not really what we're looking at. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think that we have that information as of yet. Ten five, actually. Why? Okay, let's see what happens. Ro local rank is number one. All right, so Gohan is here, so that's awesome. Let's go ahead and refresh this. So this is in the primary that we look at. So number one, so we have the Gohan. What, which ranking does that Gohan run until? It's usually until the. Okay, cool. So you can actually get the Gohan until the five thousand. Oh, ten thousand place. All right, so yo, anyone who wants that Gohan, as long as you score in the top 10,000, you'll get him. Myself, I have off on Thursday, and that's when the event's supposed to go live. Uh, at least I believe, unless it's uh, Thursday night. But uh, regardless, I'm going to be grinding out. I'm going to go for the top 2,500. I want the top left, bottom right, do path of him unlocked, so I'm going for the top 2,500. I will be grinding my butt off for that. That's the ranking re reward. Local rewards is typical. It's going to be the Piccolo. Mission rewards... Uh, one win, Dragonstone, Dragonstone. Where is... Is Bardock in here? Bardock? No, he's not. Interesting. Uh, leagues in here. So, nothing, man. I don't know how we're going to get this Bardock um, at all. I, there's no information about him. It does say that he's available here. So, I mean, that's interesting. <laughs> um, but anyway, guys. Yeah, that's that. So, these are really good. Plus, I just wanted to talk about it. Bardock links up very well with all the Bardocks and a couple of Fashas. Uh, essentially, all the Great Apes. Um, or not, yeah, the Great Apes. So all the Great Apes and uh, bar, all other Bardocks, Super Saiyan Bardocks, so you can definitely make a team around them if you wanted to. Nothing really viable. Oh, and the Barlot, really cool too. Uh, and then for the Gohan, he links a lot with a majority of the Gokus, a couple of the Gohans that are like Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Uh, and 
himself and Trunks. So he has some decent linking buddies, but again, they're they're both meant for being support. They're both good support units. Um, and that's that about that. Let's just jump onto the JP side really quick. Um, while this actually, you know, tries to load for me, uh, though, you, the Tournament of Survival events runs until 1024, so you have that, so make sure you go ahead and grind it out. There's a whole bunch of cool stuff in here. Um, you get some Dokken Awakenings that you're going to need, uh, especially for that Cocoon Frieza. If you're trying to feed into the Golden Angel Frieza, you're going to want to get those medals for him. Uh, the next one we're going to talk about is the Goku Jr. event. Yes, that's still here, guys. It's been on my videos for the past couple weeks. Goku Jr. event runs until 10, 11. So on my next video, uh, next Wednesday, because I try to do weekly grind Wednesdays. Um, try to, anyway. Um, that should be just ending. So you have one more week to grind that out if, you're, if you haven't gotten your Goku Jr. or JP side. I haven't, but that's just because I'm not a primary JP player. Um, the next one is Resurrection of F event. That is going to run until 10, 11 as well. So next Wednesday, so you have one more week to grind that out and the Metacora event as well, which is 10-11. So those are the three events that you're going to want to grind out. The Resurrection F event is really cool because all of these, um, you know, they, I kind of think that Bandai made that mistake a long time ago, but they released this event during the Golden Frieza saga or saga a movie time, time or uh, inside, it's either, it was either inside the anime for Dragon Ball Super or it was time of the movie. Regardless, they made all of the different forms of Frieza Dokken Awaken into his golden form, and it just different medals are required for all of that. So you can go ahead and get those medals to get those Dokken Awakened, so that way you can feed it into your Golden Frieza if you like him as a character. Um, and we already talked about the Billion Power... Oh, did we talk about it? No, we didn't talk about the Billion Power Word. All of these cards that you get from this event suck. They haven't done anything with this yet. So, yeah. Um, you can't even feed them into the Meta Core or the Intelligence one, so it's not even worth it. He's not even farmable. Um, last one is going to be, let's see, Resurrection of F. Oh, we already talked about that. Um, Angel, Golden Freeze event, and Summons both end on 1011, so you have one more week with them as well. Uh, so, you know, stay tuned for that. Um, and then Unit Tournament of Survival Summons. That is this one. That one runs until 10-11. So essentially, everything on the JP side ends next Wednesday, except for the Tournament of Survival event. So everything is running until next Wednesday. Then we should be getting a whole bunch of new events. So again, I'll be talking about them next week, guys. I'm assuming we're going to get a whole bunch of new stuff just because that's, you know, that's all happening. So we'll probably be getting a new category um, released this coming weekend. But anyway, guys, that's it. Thank you for joining me here for the Weekly Grind Wednesday. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope it was informative. Uh, again, I will be doing, you know, I usually, I try, I did this in one of my, I did this in one of the tournaments where I did nightly videos of where I was at. I plan on doing that. I have to work on Friday. So uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to do a full grind fest on Friday, but I'll be doing my best because I only work, um, you know, the first half of the day, I'll be able to grind out everything. So I'll be doing videos just releasing where I'm at in the tournament. Let me know if you're going to grind that as well. Uh, I really think it's worth it. We just need to figure out how that Bardock is going to be attainable. When we find out how he's going to be attainable, I will definitely let you guys know. Again, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys later.